In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can sell digital courses with HubSpot. So we're going to be using a tool called CartFuel. You can go to CartFuel.io, sign up for a free 14-day trial to follow along with this video. But essentially what we're going to be doing is using CartFuel to make a payment form, embed that payment form on a HubSpot landing page, and then also connect it with Kajabi, which is what we're going to be using for our digital course in this example. So the first thing is once you have your CartFuel account, you're going to go into CartFuel and you're going to go to payment gateways and then you're going to connect your Stripe account. By the time you see this video, PayPal will be released. Um, it says coming soon now, but it will be released by the time you see this video. So in this case, you just connect your Stripe account. And then once you have your Stripe account connected, you go to external integrations and then you're going to connect your HubSpot account. So all you need to do to do that is just click on connect HubSpot and then you're gonna uh, select the HubSpot account that you wanna connect and then just choose the account and then connect it. And then it'll redirect you back to your CartFuel account. Once you have your HubSpot account connected, the last thing you need to connect is your Kajabi account. So right here. So you just click on this button and you're gonna be able to connect with Kajabi. So you obviously need a Kajabi account. If you don't have one, go to Kajabi and you can sign up for a Kajabi account. I already have an account, so what I'm going to do is show you how to connect it to CartFuel and then we'll build the payment form. We will then embed it on HubSpot and then test it out and see how it all works, make sure it all works together. But the reason why I'm doing it this way is so that when we go to build the payment form here in, in CartFuel, so you won't have to go to separate systems to connect everything. So we're going to connect Kajabi now. So what we're going to do is just give it a name. So let's just say um, online course right because that's what we're going to do we're going to be selling an online course so we'll just give it a name and then what you want to do here is you want to find the webhook for your kajabi offer so what we're going to do is go to kajabi and we're going to go to our product so in this case we have an online course i have a few of them because i've been testing this out um, and then what you want to do is just find the offer that is associated with this particular course so in, the, in this case, it's this one. So I'm just going to click on this one. And then what I'm going to do is go to more webhooks. And then we're going to grab this activation URL webhook. So just copy that, go to cart fuel and just paste that in and then click on add. And now it's going to add that webhook. Okay, perfect. So that's all we need to do there. Now we're going to set up our payment form. So go to product actions and then go to new product sequence. And here is where we're going to start setting up that payment form. So the first thing is we're going to give a sequence, our product sequence, a name, and this is for internal use. So we'll say HubSpot online course, and we will then add a product add our first product. So the product that we're going to add is online course. Okay. And let's say that this is $27. Now you can choose between one time or recurring payments. So um, if you have, let's say a subscription that you wanna sell, you can do that here. Um, and then you can set the amount that you wanna build them or you know expire. Uh, let's say you wanna uh, have them build every month, but you wanna expire after two months, you can do that. You can also select products from your Stripe account. So you can actually choose, you can set it up in Stripe um, and then select it, or you can just set it up here. Uh, for now, I'm just going to do a one time and then click on save. Now I'm going to scroll down to this area down here. You can change the currency, add a description for the product, um, or you can actually add multiple products. I forgot to mention that. So you can add another product if you want. But in this case, we're just going to keep it simple with this one course. Um, you can charge additional fees. You can add a countdown timer just by setting it up over here. You can add a phone number field, which is always nice to collect. And then you can also use HubSpot forms if you want. So if I toggle this on and select the form that I want to use, you can see that that form now appears in our payment form. So this is good for just collecting additional information. I'm going to turn that off. You can add shipping fields. If you're shipping something physical, you can add coupons, add an order bump or um, add donations. Okay. For now, I'm just going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to do this simple payment form. And now I'm going to go to the next step. So step two is all about customization. So you can choose a different font for your payment form. If you don't want Lado, you can choose something else um, just by selecting the font from here. Um, you can also choose a different form style. And then in the header, you can actually change this to say whatever you want. So it can say uh, complete payment, right? Or you can just delete this altogether. You can also change this as well and change the header text. So if you want it to be like this green, I don't know why you would want that, but maybe you do. Let's do this blue. That's cool. Okay. Um, and then next you can do placeholder text. So you can change this for, for example, to say, enter your full name um, or enter your email address. You can split the full name. So like if you wanted to say first name, last name, instead of it saying just enter your full name, 
You can do that. You can change the button text. So you can say, yes, I want this course. You can change the button color. All right, we can match it to that, that blue. We can change the button size, the button text color, button radius. And in the URL section, we can actually set up terms of service URL or privacy policy URL. And when you enter those URLs, it will actually change down here. So when people click on them, it will go to your, your terms or privacy policy page. Before we dive into the rest of the video, we'd like to thank our video sponsor, CartFuel. CartFuel is the easiest and quickest way for you to accept one-time and recurring payments in HubSpot. All you need to do is connect your Stripe or PayPal account, configure your payment form by adding countdown timers, coupons, or order bumps, then copy and paste the code they provide you onto any site, including WordPress or HubSpot pages. Did we mention CartView has one-click upsells? That's right. Your customers can order more products without having to re-enter their credit or debit card with a single click. But you want to know what's the best part? When a sale occurs with CartFuel, your customer's name, email address, phone number, and products they purchase will teleport into HubSpot. It's like magic. This means you can trigger workflows to boost customer retention and decrease refund rates. All this and more with no custom code needed. Try CartFuel for free for 14 days by clicking the link in the description or comment section of this video. All right, let's get back to the content. So that's all it is to customize. As you can see, you have a lot of options that you can choose from, um, but it's not, you know, it's not complicated. So let's go to the next step. So step three is where do you want to send this person after they buy this course? So you can send them to a thank you page. You can send them to an upsell page, which is why cart feels so powerful because you can actually offer upsells in addition to what you're already selling, which is a great feature. In this case, I'm going to keep it really simple. And all I'm going to do is just send them to a thank you page. Normally I would show you the upsell, but I want to keep this video uh, pretty short. We have other videos talking about upsells and how to use them with this feature, but what you would do is you would just turn this on and just put your upsell page here and then you would just do the same add your products here um, to this area okay so what I'm gonna do now is just locate my thank you page so I'm gonna save this real quick this is the page that we're gonna be working with in a second but I'm gonna exit out for now and I'm gonna go to our thank you page so I'm just gonna view this page and I'm just gonna grab this link and I'm gonna paste that inside of here and that's it now in step four, we're gonna set up our integration. So we actually need to send them to our course, right? We wanna send them directly from CartFuel into Kajabi that we just set up. So what we're gonna do is just toggle this on and you can see that we can set up different integrations for different um, steps. So for the main product, upsell two. Okay. Now we can select the Kajabi webhook URL that we just set up. So we can select the online course and now as someone buys this, they will then be directed into Kajabi for their online course. So perfect. So now what we're going to do is click on next and we are going to, we're going to skip step five. Step five is all about email after purchase. So you can send an email directly from CartField. But what I'm going to do is just click on save. And now we're presented with these codes. And what you're going to do with these codes is you're going to go into HubSpot and you're going to locate your, your page where you're going to be selling this digital course. In our case, I already have this page set up. What you need to do though, before you actually add this code, um, and it's really simple, you don't have to know coding or anything like that, is you need to go to the asset marketplace in HubSpot. And the reason why you wanna do that is because you wanna look for or search for HTML. So it says no results. And the reason for that is because you wanna make sure that you're searching for the module, not themes. Okay, so search for HTML. It's already here actually. So if we click on view details, you can just add that module. Um, I already added mine, so that is why it's not allowing me to do that. Um, but you just need to add it on. And then once you add it on, you'll be good to go. So let's go back to our landing page and we will then add our code. So let's go to our landing page and then we will click on edit. And I'm just going to get rid of this. I already had this one from a previous video, but I'm just going to get rid of this so I can show you from scratch. So what we're going to do is search for the module HTML and then we're just going to drag this in here. And then we're going to go to CartFuel and just copy just by clicking and pasting in here. And then you go back and then you copy this second one and then you give it some space by entering twice and then you paste that there. And then you click on apply changes. Now we see our payment form is here so we can click on publish We'll publish that page. And now we're going to test this out. So how do we test it? All you need to do is go to the page. So here we are on this page, right? And our payment form is here. Now to test this out, you're going to be on the live application. So I'm on the uh, dev account, which is our test account. So um, what you need to do is you need to make sure you turn this on and then save, okay, to test it out. 
Um, but because I'm in the dev account, my account is basically already in test mode, so I don't need to do that. So I'm just going to test this out. So I have my online course and here we go. I'm going to select credit card and then I'm going to enter my name. So let's say, and just some information here. Okay. And then for the card number, I'm going to do four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two, four, two. And this is our test card number. You want to enter the same thing when you're testing out. All right, now we're click on, yes, I want this course. And it's gonna redirect us to the thank you page that we set up. So order complete, boom. So now let's confirm that this person made it into HubSpot and then we'll also confirm that they made it into Kajabi. So as you can see here, Steve P has made it, Steve P at Gmail with our, our phone number there. So we'll click on his account and we'll see that he purchased, that's correct, he purchased the online course, it was $27, yep, all good. Okay, so now we know that that person made it into HubSpot. Now we gotta check Kajabi. So let's go to Kajabi and we'll go back to all offers. Actually, I'll just go back twice because that's where we came from. And now we would check our members. And there we go, Steve P has made it into the Kajabi course. So that's how you sell a digital course or online course on HubSpot. We're gonna use cart fuel to take the payments and then you use Kajabi to uh, host the course. And then you just, you know, send traffic to your HubSpot page and get sales and have those people go right into the Kajabi course. So that's how you do it. Let us know if you guys like this type of content, leave a comment down below, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give us a big thumbs up. It really helps promote this video to other people, other HubSpot users, just like yourself who want to know how to sell digital courses with HubSpot. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.